Hey, I'm Kai. I'm a teenager, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to program in Python and Pygame. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a 2D scroll game, and today we're going to focus on the pavement section of it. So to start off, you need to import your Pygame and Sys libraries, and that's this line right here, importing Pygame and Sy system, or Sys. After that, you want to initialize your Pygame library, which is pygame.init. So once you've done that, you need to create your Blake window surface. So this is the screen that everything's going to be uh, drawn onto, and it should be 40 pixels wide and three, eight, 320 pixels in height. Next, you need to start your clock. And it's clock equals pygame.time.clock. And your frame rate per second should be 10. This will ensure that the game runs smoother in the future. After that, you have to load your tile or your pavements. It's tile equals pygame.image.load. And you load whatever your um, tile is called. After that, you want to create a blank empty list. I call mine pavement. You can call yours whatever you want. Next, you have to create your 16 rectangles. And it should be a little bit bigger than the screen. See, this is 480. And that's 512. So it's one uh, rectangle bigger. After you, that, after you do that, you want to create a new rectangle and set X to here. After you do that, you append that rectangle to your empty list pavement. So now your empty list now has 16 rectangles in it. Once you've done that, you set up your while statement, while true, for event pygame.event.get and you're checking for the event type quit and if it equals quit pygame quits and the system exits so right here um, you're checking if the first element of pavement which is the rectangle on the far left and if the right edge goes off the screen less than equal to zero then you slice off that first element or the part that's off the screen and you add a new rectangle to the far right. This part over here is the part that moves your, um, your tiles across the screen. So make sure it's ground out left or else the thing won't move at all. The part right here, uh, window surface dot blit is what blits your tiles onto the screen. Tile is your um, your picture and ground is your rectangle. And then here, clock dot tick FPS. Uh, it's the part that keeps your programmer looking smooth, and your tiles should move um, smoothly once you've done this. And then update the screen with plugin that's played update. And in the end, your program should look like this. So we have tiles that are moving smoothly from the right edge of the screen to the left. Okay, that's it.